Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel in the Let's Farm Iowa series here on UMRV. So it is the last week of October and we are about 9 o'clock here in the morning. We're all finished up with harvest, so no more harvesting for us this year. We have all the bales uh, baled, or all the fields baled, I guess. And we have to get them picked up so this pretty much is the last thing we need to do until really getting into winter time until things really start slowing down again and but that'll be that'll be uh good i mean we can have some downtime a little bit and take a break from the madness of harvest so well I guess now that I'm looking at this field that we're passing we do need to get the cornfield plowed so that is another job that we do need to do but I'm thinking that this episode is gonna be probably about the same length but we're gonna kinda get through quite a bit of time here so that's kinda the plan for this episode we hmm, do I wanna do these first you know what? Now that I think about it, let's get the corn stalk bales off so we can get the 865 with the chisel plow onto this uh, cornfield here and get the corn residue broken up and plowed in a little bit. So I think that's going to be the plan. Get in here. Flip our warning lights off. We're gonna run all the way down to the end. Come back on the right side. Just make more sense. So I think we are going to stick with the Olamac header. Well, I say that. We did return it. Because um, I felt like we didn't really need to keep it over winter. But I think that we're going to go back to the Olamac next year. When we're ready to harvest. And hopefully we'll have enough money to buy it outright. Because like I said, it's about half the price. Of the Gehringhoff. Um... Squatch Monkey, he, I'm sure a lot of you know who he is. Uh, he did reach out and he helped with a fix for um, the gearing off head. So he could go back to the gearing off. But I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know. I really liked that Olimac, how it had the chopping function. So it actually mulched our fields for us. And it's a folding header, less cost. I think it just kind of makes more sense. So I think that we're going to stick with it. And I've never used that head before. And I actually really like it. So I actually see those run quite a bit around my area. There's a few farms around my area that run gleaners. And they have Olamac heads on them. I don't know if it's just a gleaner thing that you run those on them. Because I feel like that's actually really common. But yeah. I don't know, I, I don't know, it's kind of cool. I kind of like that head, so. We'll be going back to it, so. Be prepared for some more Olimac 12 row folding head action. Thrilling stuff, I know. It really is. Is there any bales back here? No, so we'll go swing back around quick. Yeah, I'm happy I started with this field because it's just quick. It's all going to be one load, not even probably going to be a full load. So, we'll get them off. We'll probably get the Challenger, the Challenger 865 fired up. And going on some tillage here for us. Curious to see how course play will work with this field. 
being such an odd shape. But I'm sure it'll... I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's not like it's tight or anything. It's just an odd... Odd shape, so... I think that we're going to... Just set these down. Do we want to set these down at the edge of the field? Does that make sense? Because we'll load them up. I just don't want to drive this all the way to town. So we'll, we'll probably... Hmm. We just don't have a lot of room in our yard. Farmyard there, so... How about we... Yeah. We're just going to dump them right here on the edge. And then we'll bring the truck down with the loader. Get those loaded up at some point. We really need the money. Because <laughs> we had to take out another loan. Because we were so in the negative. Can't even afford to <laughs> buy enough propane to dry our corn. So, yeah. It's uh, been some tough times for us on the, f on the farm. I'm getting myself... I'm way, way way over my head right now with debt and loan costs and all that stuff uh, I wanted to farm big and I kind of want this series to kind of be one of those that rolls over similar to what Kadirk did he with his series on I think UMRV I think it's a, that's not I don't think it's a Zedgewater one but I think it's UMRV he rolled his like assets over he sold all of his assets from the map he was on previous and kind of started out with those funds like all the things he could sell so i kind of want this series to be similar to that where we can kind of start you know at, at the next series with the money that we have from this series so that's why I started it legit. Started it as a farm manager. We didn't add any money or anything like that. Pretty legit. And, but I also wanted to farm big, and <laughs> that has cost us quite a bit. So, hopefully, we get some good money from our uh, harvest this year, which we'll probably be selling off over the winter time. And I know that we have some cows. Let's check our cows quick. Still haven't fixed this uh, thing yet, but it, private save, who cares, you know. <laughs> I'll get it fixed, but you know what I mean. So these cows will probably sell off once they reach puberty. So not too long now. And we'll be able to sell this off probably in the spring. So that'll be a good profit for us. And... I really want to invest in some calves. I think that would be a really worthwhile investment. But I don't want to take out a loan for them. So it's kind of one of those things. Like how are we going to balance that one? But we have that big old feedlot. We got to get it filled up. So the goal is to get a thousand cows. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see about that. But... All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna throw this on a quick time lapse, and uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna just cut to the end because I think I've already done a time lapse in a previous video of a stack and veil. So I'll catch you guys near the end of the field. So we've gotten all the bales loaded up, and down here to this area where we're stacking them started on wrapping these a little bit I just wanted to make sure it worked so it does not work with the Vermeer wrapper that we had so we actually had to go in and buy the Anderson X wrapper and that works so the base game wrapper didn't work but this Anderson X one does, so it's a both the square bale and the round bale one. So I don't know what <laughs> what the deal is there, but 
Here, I'm just going to show you in the store quick. So the one that I had to buy is this one that says 560M support. That's the one I bought. I don't know why it didn't work with this one, but it does work with this one. So I don't know. I mean, there's a little hay icon there. I don't know what that, I don't know what the difference is, but yeah. So that's kind of what we're working with right now. So it's a, uh, been a process trying to figure out what kind of bales we can oh that's not gonna like lifting both of those is it okay these heavy uh grass bales are really a chore to haul around so but we're getting getting our bales wrapped so we don't have to continue to buy in our silage bales or grass silage bales since our TMR mix does take grass silage I was thinking about changing it but I'm just like you know what let's stick with it at this point it's a little bit different than anything that I've used before I've edited my recipes before and I've never used two types of silage so why not give her a go We're getting, we're getting this done. And just like that, we're just about done getting these bales loaded up. So, just trying to separate, separate out the uh, alfalfa bales from the grass bales here in this other pile. That was from the first cut that we did on this save. So but we're we're getting her done. We're getting through it. So, and I'm really enjoying doing some first cat or first person uh, loading here. It's been fun. We got our first bale sausage done. We're on to our second. So that will be a good amount of grass silage for us hopefully it gets us through the winter I'm not exactly sure how that will work I think it should with how much the cows are consuming at this rate but they are going to continue to keep consuming more because as they grow that's just how it works so Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Otherwise, we'll just have to head down and to the feed store and pick up some bales and get those hauled back up. This, this loader or this wrapper is getting a little crooked, <laughs> but that's all right. I just hope it doesn't like glitch out the uh, first log sausage bale sausage. I clip it into it or something I don't know how that I don't know if that's possible but it makes me a little bit nervous that we're gonna have some bales flying into the air and lost forever someday down the line I find them in a random field that I'm that I just bought about 20 episodes from now one of those things not sure if you guys have ever been there or not but I think if you're an avid FS player, you might have been, <laughs> especially in 19. I didn't find the bail physics were nearly as good in 19, so. All right, let's hop out. Get this finished up. Could probably just leave this out here for now. Kind of fold it up. So we're not going to be getting into these bales for a little bit now. Just because they have to sit there and ferment. So, Alright, that is that job. So now I need to head down and grab the pickup truck. And get 
that down to the cornfield. We do have the 865 running on the chisel plow right now in that field as well. So we're moving right along and I think I'm going to just do this off camera, get these sold, and I will catch you guys in November at some point when there's something significant going on, because we there's not going to be a whole lot going on. We're going to be hauling at some point here, and I guess we're probably going to need to spread some manure at, at another point, so we are getting a pretty big pile built up on... Uh, in that main feedlot there with the older cows so we will get that scraped up and all that good stuff so I'll see you guys in about a month or so well good morning guys we're here in November second week in November here so we are getting filled up right now with our first truck load of oats uh, the original plan was that we were gonna keep them all for mineral feed but we have moved about 70,000 liters over to that smooth wall bin we put up over in the cattle feedlot area and I think that should do us since we're not growing the cattle operation quite as quickly as I would hoped just due to how fast we're losing money to the leases and the loans uh, I think that should be enough if not we I mean we honestly might take a whole truckload out of that as well so and even then it should be enough to get us through until we can uh, do some more harvesting of a grain so that's kind of the plan right now we definitely need to stop taking loans out because it's just continuing to compound the losses for us so I'm really itching to get into January when the price of corn will be up so we are going to sell this at uh, the train so we need to head down all the way to the south side here of the map get that dumped I think that's a dump point at least it says it is hopefully it is Hopefully it's not just the trigger. That's kind of what I'm wondering. Is is it just the trigger or not? So it looks like, from what I'm seeing here in the distance, there is a spot for us to dump, which is great. I was not exactly sure, so... Let's see... Looks like we can pull right in here. Is this where we pull in? I'm not convinced. Burkett Mills. Rent train. So I suppose if this doesn't work, it's not the worst prices in the world. So we'll kind of see what happens. Yeah, it looks like we're just selling it. That's fine. We'll just sell it. If you guys know how this works, how the train works, where do I need to dump for, or to dump into the train? That's my question for you. I can rent the train down here, but where do I dump my grain that I won't sell it so that I can dump it into the actual train. I 
Can we get out this way? Hopefully. Good deal. So we need to return the train, so we're not... Return rented train. So we did return the train, and it only cost us about $44 for the amount of time that we rented the train. That is a tight turn there for a big old semi. Huh. Well, that's not exactly what I was hoping for. We probably, we could have got, maybe we just sold it for like $37.50 per thousand liters compared to what we could have done, which was like $44, so that's quite a bit extra money. I mean, this $50,000 is only going to last us about one in-game day, so... Not very long, but luckily we have some more more to sell. What about, I think it was 97,000 liters in our bins and 77,000 in our smooth wall. So, we'll keep working on getting this uh, oat sold off. And I'll see you guys in a little bit after uh, we've got the majority of them sold. We're coming up on our last, with our last load. We actually had less than I thought we had, <laughs> but uh, it's pretty much just two loads. I don't know why I thought we had 97,000 in there. I swear it said that on the time-saving stock thing, thingy-majigger. So, uh, after some horsing around, I kind of figured out what, how to dump into the train, and it's this Upper Mississippi Railroad silo. Makes sense, right? So we're gonna dump in here. And I believe there is a train rent point somewhere, and I think it's actually right over here. Flip up our uh, menu. Is it this? Yeah. So rent train. So now we just have to wait for it to come then we can fill the train with this oats and sell it for good price so I think the thousand dollars extra to rent the train will be worth it so close down our menu here we'll just kind of park up the truck right here Shut her down and see where the train is even at at this point. No train on the map quite yet, so we might be waiting here for a bit. Alright, so a little bit later now, <laughs> kind of took a little bit, we uh, got our train, so oh, I forget that the brakes are pretty slow. So let's open this. It probably should only just fill, maybe not even fill it, but. Yeah, definitely won't even fill it. We'll have to see if it's actually worth it or not. So, all right, off we go. Nice Canadian Pacific Railway. Is this the same train that's on Edgewater? Did DJ use the Edgewater train? Might have. I believe it's a Canadian train. I don't use the trains very often, so this is kind of fun. Always fun to do something different when you can, right? Change up the gameplay a little bit. Experience something new. Always good. Interior. Interesting. We should be getting kicked out at some point soon, right? I think so. Right on the edge of the map, probably, actually. 
I think the last time I used a train was on Elm Creek when the game first came out, so <laughs> it's been over a year. It's a while. Almost there. So I guess disregard my previous question <laughs> in the comments about where to dump. We got her figured out. All right. Do you want to sell the loaded grain? Yes, please. So that only costs us ninety-four dollars to lease the train. So that's nice. And then we gained ourselves forty-two dollars or forty-two thousand. So that's for a seventy-five percent full load we made only two thousand dollars less going with the train instead of this place here so we got to get back to our uh, truck somehow through the power of video games we are back at our truck I really hope that I recorded that in the train I'm not honestly sure that I did because I think when I just click the button to start recording again, I only, I don't know, I'm worried, however, so if there's no train footage, I apologize, that's on me, we just sold the train, or we just sold our oats on the train, and now we're back in the truck, heading back to the farm, so, uh, however, I think that's going to be it for this episode, Pretty much the rest of the winter is just going to be us selling grain and whatnot. I might get an episode in somehow, some way, if something cool happens or comes up or we find something that's a good buy or we decide to buy more cows, which is probably not the best idea, or we decide to sell our cows, you know, so something. If something comes up, we'll, we'll, we'll make an episode, but if I'm just selling grain, I'll probably let you guys off the hook and just watching me drive a truck back and forth so I appreciate you guys watching and as always I'll catch you in the next video